guys, I just stumbled across this little urban area with some bush now. And then just looking to see what's in here, I might just drop a trap in here for you know, 10 15 minutes and see if we can't find him. But this is like really cool looking, it's only very shallow, but it's definitely some fish in here moving around. So um we're down at brown's plane so yeah haven't really trapped around this area before but it's starting to the new series where we're going to be like doing a section of brisbane moving up through the through the different suburbs so yeah first episode of the series is going to be in brown plains and we're going to move up to rock lee and then we're going to move up 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 and just do different areas so yeah i'm going to chuck two traps in here see what we can find in here see if there's anything interesting Alright guys, got the two traps, got the dog food. I'm honestly <clears throat> interested to see what actually could be in here. Maybe it's just mosquito fish, maybe it's not. But um, hopefully we'll see some natives in here as well. Ooh, it's a bit bushy, a bit shrubby. It's really cool to see such a it's really cool to see such a natural environment in our backyards basically. Let's see if we can't set the camera up over here. Looks like it's potentially just mosquito fish, but there's only one way to really find out, isn't there? Get these traps in, put one trap there. Move one up a little bit further. Maybe put a trap up here. It's a uh, really nice tenon stained water too. So cool. Alright guys, so got the traps in, see how we go, um, hopefully we get something to feed Chunky, we'll still do a feeding at the end anyway, I still got some sword tails left over from the last one I went out, so yeah really interested, hey look at this, what the, f what it would have done that, maybe like a moth or something, it's no opening so I couldn't imagine it being a spider but there's three of them so. I'm gonna guess some sort of grub turning into a moth or a butterfly, but that's really cool to see. Anyways, I'm gonna leave them in 10 15. Oh. 10 15 minutes in the drink, and then we'll come back and check it. Alright, guys, so I just wanted to sit down and talk about new series. I put a poll out last night, and that was to ask you guys what you want to see more of more tank videos, more fishing videos, or more fish trapping videos. Now, I have my spots that I go back to every month, every couple of months. I don't usually branch out too often because it's really hard for me to find what I'm looking for. Um, but we're changing that now. We're doing something completely different. We're documenting, we're moving from one end of Brisbane, so like the bottom part of Brisbane. We're gonna slowly move all the way up to the top of Brisbane. And we're gonna document pretty much you know, at least a creek or two in every suburb. Like I said today, we're in Brown Plains. We're doing this urban creek behind us. Um, Rock Lee, that's the next place that I'm going to. I've already got a couple of creeks picked out there, which we're gonna explore and see what's going on down there, or up there, I should say. But yeah, so that's where we're heading. That's the direction we're heading with this channel. I'm going to be making a second channel, uh, focusing just on fish tanks and stuff and plants aquatic plants not 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 plant plants but aquatic plants fish tanks all that stuff so i am going to focus this channel on what we've already been focusing on and that is trapping fish and inquiring about invasive species and stuff like that now with this new series we're going to probably do 
I don't know, maybe five videos, four videos at each location, a month, a month's worth of videos at each location. Try to get Chunky Boy his feed from each location. We'll see where we get up to with this. But I'm thinking we're gonna be all right with this uh, with this format. So anywhere you guys suggest or you want me to go check out a suburb in Brisbane, just let me know. I'm gonna tick a suburb off. Um, yeah, try to get one suburb done a month. A creek of video, it's what it's gonna be. And all the places that I go, I'm gonna leave the uh, location in the description. It's been probably about 10, 15 minutes at the moment. I think it would be close to 15. So let's go check these traps in the bush here and see if we got anything interesting. So hopefully, even if we just get some gudgeons today, feed those to Chunky. I know they're Australian native and not a pest, but you gotta remember, he would be eating those in the wild anyway. So we'll see what we find. Also guys, um, in discussions about getting a mangrove jack at the moment, so that's our second channel pet. I'm gonna do a poll. You guys are gonna drop names in the description once I get him. Tell me what you want him to be named and we're gonna go do a poll on all the names and whatever name gets the most votes, that's what the mangrove jack's gonna be called. So you guys are gonna be a part. He's gonna be the channel pet, just like Chunky Boy. He's gonna be another mascot, so can't wait to get that and we are setting up a six foot tank at the moment for chunky boy to grow out in possibly a second so it'll be two maybe even three barramundi and jack but we got to grow the jack out because chunky boy is actually like pretty big at the moment so we've got to grow the jack out before we put them together anyways guys check the traps it did look like all there was in here was mosquito fish well there's a lot of them there at least we'll be removing a couple from this area. Anyway, so let's see what we got. There's a bit of stuff in there. It's probably just female Aussie fish. And how I was wrong, guys. What the hell? Everywhere we go. Sword tails, guys. Sword tails. Wow. I, I'm just speechless. We'll tell cross platy here, but look at that top fin. It's like a, it's definitely like a sword tail cross a platy, but my God, look at this little orange platy here. I love seeing the orange platys eh? there. It's so fascinating to see, but no mosquito fish. Oh, like a couple of mosquito fish, but none more than what I thought. So I'm gonna go through this can this um trap in a minute, but I'm just gonna leave it in the water for now while I check the other one. Actually, I'll put it in up here a bit further. But yeah, I guess this is one to mark on the list: sword tails and platies. I was expecting some Australian natives, but man, I wish I lived on a house literally just behind here. Like, this is like a foot deep of water, just loaded with sword tails. How cool would it be to live here, just being able to trap them all day, every day, honestly? It'd be the best. I'm just gonna float that there so they can't get out. Production value probably not as high at this end, but um, still got a few in here. Let's see what you got. Got this. Oh, where is it? Here. It's a pretty cool looking platy here, but yeah, just a lot of that. What's that? Mickey Mouse platy. Sorry, <laughs> off camera. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, a couple of mosquito fish, a couple of sword tails, but damn, not as many as what was in the first trap. I would have thought there would have been more fish up that end. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned now because we're definitely feeding Chunky Boy some sword tails and platies Ugh. for dinner. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, so I've only walked like a couple of knees out of the bush. House is all along here. How cool would it be 
to live across the road from that and just trapping them all day every day it'd honestly be so cool all right guys just got back from the big day out you got a net full of sword tails and platies so let's give our boy a good feeding for today so let's see get him on the surface strikes first and then just give him a good old feeding eh man i love feeding this guy it's awesome <laughs> he left the water for that one. He's going to enjoy this one. Look at the size of that. Big fatty. Come on. He didn't even try. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I dropped it. See? Oh, I don't know if I got that on camera if I was fast enough. Boom, straight down. Straight down. Oh, three back to back, three back to back. No, maybe he's full. We did feed him a couple of big boomers, so. Um, maybe, maybe. That little one. Uh, let's see. He's got a few in his mouth right about now. But he's still interested. Just a little one, hey? It takes that little platy down. All right, well, that was awesome. Well, that was a good one. That was absolutely awesome, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the new series. He's hiding up the back there. You enjoyed that, I think, you know? Looking pretty healthy, pretty chunky. Anyways. I'm going to be doing stuff a little bit differently soon. Um, I've got to build a rack. It's going to go along here. Not a rack, sorry. A cabinet for a six-foot tank that I've got coming. I'm currently in the process of working on that six-foot tank at someone else's house. Had paint all at the back of it and stuff. That was only blue paint, but I wanted to recolor it and stuff. So I'm working on that. Didn't really have the garage space for it. Um, but yeah, so... Um, he will be going in there and we are definitely, definitely going to be getting that jack. I'm just trying to see where he is at the moment. Where is he? I don't know where he's going. Ah, he's right up the back. Anyways, next video, let's measure this guy. Let's see what chunky boy, let's see how big he is. Honestly, interested to see. It's been almost two months since we've had him. So... I really love this guy. It's honestly been one of the funnest fish I've ever owned. He, he knows me, recognizes me, comes up to me, and I really enjoy that, so yeah. Oh, he just came up and smashed him. Look at him, man, he's getting big, he's getting big. All right, guys, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the series, because we're getting serious now.